What's up guys? Today we're showing you how to catch some live shrimp. Live shrimp is one of the best baits you can use when fishing the surf, so it'll be a fun time. Hey, what's going to happen today? It's going to be on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? Today we're doing a little shrimping. Um, all you need for shrimping is a bucket and a cast net. So I'm just gonna go down to the spot. I'll show you some tips and tricks that we like to use where you're gonna find the shrimp and why shrimp are so helpful to have when you're fishing. Let's get to it. When you're shrimping, it's always good to have a couple people. So we got Uncle Andy and my dad. Um, Basically, one person can throw the net, the other person helps get all the stuff out of it. And we got a cloth net. Cloth net is very important for shrimping because it just grabs onto the shrimp, unlike like uh, one of the plastic nets do. But with the cloth, the, their horns get caught up in the net, and that's always a good, helpful thing to get more shrimp. The best spot to go for shrimping is the sound side. We like going on the sound side, just that's where we find the shrimp. You ain't gonna find many shrimp in the ocean. And what do you wanna look for? You wanna look for some nice marshy, sort of mud bottoms. It can be hard mud or soft mud, but I usually don't find that there's a lot of shrimp in the sand. I like to shrimp near oyster reefs, because that just, I mean, that's just been a pattern I've seen when shrimping. You'd usually find the shrimp next to some oysters, so. In this spot, we've got oysters, and it's a muddy bottom. So it's some good shrimping. Don't forget to wear some shoes. Oh my God. That's where we're going. <laughs> yeah, look, hey, always wear some shoes. See, my dad's got the, the good shoes on. Let me see. Man. Man, Uncle Andy, well, yeah, he, his, his feet are gonna get toughened up today. <laughs> hey, there's, there's no oysters over here, is there? Oh yeah, there are. Well, why do you tell me? <laughs> so yeah, I'm wearing some shoes. Um, always a good thing to do, unless you want to get cut up. The best time to come out shrimping. I like to go during low tide because all the shrimp are pulled out in the, the pools and holes instead of hiding up in the grasses. So if you can get out during low tide, that'll drastically increase your amount of shrimp per cast net. So follow those tips. There's our cast net. This is the one we like to use when shrimping. It's four foot. I generally like five foot nets, but hey, we found this one, so. You see the shrimp, you can see them moving in the grass. All right, let's see how this goes. There's our first two shrimp. Oh God. Ah. <laughs> See, that's why I need a helper right here. How many you got? Three? Yeah, two. Two and a little pinfish minnow. Oh, I got one. So once you find them, just keep hitting that spot. But, and then if you don't get any shrimp the next cast, move on to the next one. I'm hitting this shelf right next to it. They seem to be hugged up right on the grass. It's high tide right now, so the water is in the grass. But, you know, we just had to go out because we need this bait because we're going to go catch some red drum and surf. Uh, working. We're still catching them. Just got to keep hitting this shelf. Work this little cloth cast net around. It'll be good. Oh yeah, you got one, man. That's a generous size one right there. Hell yeah. yeah. Where at? Right here. Get back. Oh yeah, I think I got about five that time. Okay. I got another one. Hold up, there's another one up here. Oh, uh, make sure make sure you check your regulations on how many shrimp you can catch and if you can use a cast net or not. Hell oh, yeah. Oh yeah, got three or four in there. Yeah. We're finding them now. See how that cloth net just grabs them? I mean, with that nylon, you ain't gonna catch those shrimp. Good. Luckily. If you guys have learned some helpful information from this video, 
Be sure to help us out, subscribe to our channel, and turn those notifications on. We'll be releasing more information about how to catch more saltwater and freshwater fish. We already have a ton of great informational videos up there, so be sure to check them out. Oh yeah, alright. Quick little cast net tutorial, ready? You got your right hand holding the main thing. I like to bite this. This is the easiest way to do it. Some people just throw it with both their hands. I just like biting it. It's easy and best for a beginner. So bite it and then pick up with your left hand, spin, throw, and let go. And you're set. As you can see, it's really simple. We're just working this grass line. We're getting a lot of shrimp out of it too. Nice muddy bottom, hard mud. They love it. Oh, oh, put, 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 check them out. Shrimp in the cast net. It's on like on, Diddy, Diddy, man. Donkey Kong. Uh, how many you think there are? About <laughs> Those are some eater size too. Look at that. <laughs> even hey, even if you don't like fishing, this is still a great way to catch some dinner. These shrimp are so delicate, and you can eat them with the shells on. Let's go get oh, some more. Got a little flounder. <laughs> hey, the flounder hang out where the shrimp are, so it makes sense. Let them go. Come on now. There we go. All right, so we've been cast netting for about, I don't know, 20 minutes. Um, so I know there's an oyster reef right here. We cast netted from the pier all the way up to this white stick. And we didn't have much luck. We were catching one or two shrimp a cast net, but then we got next to the oyster reef, bam. 15 shrimp, boom, another seven, 15, 10, 10. So um, that just goes to show you they love hanging out next to the reefs, next to these drop-offs, next to, next to grass. So it just provides them shelter and that's where they're gonna hide out and that's where you pull them in with this. And then another tip, when you're pulling in oysters, if you get a clump of oysters, don't shake your net and get it out. That's just gonna cause a bunch of holes in your net. Just sort of flip the oyster over and pick it apart. Um, and that will reduce the tears in your net because those oysters are very sharp. They can tear this net and even your line attaching from the top to the bottom, which takes a little time to repair, but it's easier just to get the oyster out nice and smoothly. All right, got a bucket full of shrimp. Now we're gonna head out to the ocean, work them on a slow Carolina rig, a little split shot with a small golden hook, work them through the troughs and catch some fish. Andy just caught a big 24 inch drum the other day, so it's gonna be a good time. <laughs> 